I want to talk to you today about what I call the alert system. Be alert system. So this is a systematic approach that you can become more productive and narrow in your focus and your clarity in things that you're doing in your life. So many times when people are confused, they don't do anything. A confused mind takes no action. So I came up with this acronym. It's going to be called be alert. So the B is going to stand for your blueprint. What you want to do is you want to map out a blueprint. Think about this. Anytime you've had uh, any print work done, for an example, you've always proofread it before you approved it. I'm a 44 time author. So after I write my books, I have them proofread to make sure that it's exactly the way I want it. So you create this blueprint. Same thing when building a house. First thing in a house is you got to uh, map out blueprint plans of what the house is going to look like before you even start bulldozing the land. So we make sure we got enough land. We start building the foundation and then we start building the edifice. So with that said, the blueprints are the most important part because we may realize, you know what? The basement isn't quite large enough. Let's add some more square footage to it. Um, you know, we, we have six bedrooms. We may need five or six bathrooms to match that. So you can make adjustments. So that's why it's important to have your blueprint. Now, here's the cool thing about blueprints particularly when you're planning out your next day. Many times we get up and we go to work or we start our professions and it's like, geez, what do I do today? But when you methodically think about it a night in advance and you write it down, then you can accomplish so much more. Listen, I'll show you here. I have note cards. I use uh, index cards every night. And what I do is I'll take the index card and I'll rip it in thirds. And then I'll write on there everything I have to do the following day. And then I'll go and I'll put a number by each one of those items in order of priority. And then I'll go back and put specific times for what time I'm going to start and stop each one of those activities. So that makes me accountable for my time. Now, what this also does when you put information in your head the night before, you're able to sleep on it. Your brain can correlate and collate and position you to have thoughts in your subconscious overnight. Then you wake up next morning with a abundance of clarity and direction um, that's scientifically proven. So instead of waking up, you know, fumbling around for the first two or three hours and not really knowing what you're going to do today, you can minimize all that, become more effective by writing all that stuff down um, the night before. The A in Be Alert is to take action. Many times we have ideas of doing things, but we never take action. You hear a lot of people say um, information is knowledge or knowledge is power. No, applied knowledge is power. It's not until we take the action do we activate the, the, the outcome to work the way we want it to. So, you know, I always tell people don't spend time doing minimum wage activities, which I call MWAs. Don't waste time doing minimum wage activities. Spend your time doing income generating activities. So whatever it is that you're doing, this is going to either generate income or it's going to take me in the direction of generating income as opposed to minimum wage activities. What do I mean when I say minimum wage activities? I often give the analogy of cutting grass. I can cut grass with scissors. I can go out and cut my yard with scissors. It'll probably take me three and a half weeks to do that. Or I can get a push more and I can push and probably get the job done in a couple hours. Or I can elect to use a riding lawn more and probably knock it out in 15 to 20 minutes. Or I can just simply pay someone else to do it. And I can take that time back and use it for different purposes that are more productive, which can become income generating activities. So it's important that we understand how to um, separate or how to vet our time and make sure we're using it as highest and best use. Um, because there's a difference between being busy and productive. You're a lot of people that when I, I talk to them, I say, hey man, I couldn't get back with you. I was just so busy. Listen, that was never my goal in life to be busy. I don't wear busy <clears throat> as a badge of honor because if a person is always busy, that shows you that they're not a good steward of their time. That's not a good characteristic trait to have. That, that's a flaw because the whole goal in life is not to be so busy. A hamster on a wheel is busy. He's busy running. He's hustling. The definition of hustle is hurried bodily movements. A hamster on a wheel is continuously running, exerting a lot of energy and going nowhere. 
that same energy off of the wheel going in a specific direction with intention and purpose, the hamster will get a positive result in life and be further ahead than the one that was on the wheel. So it's not about being busy. It's about being productive. Is your result working? You know, I'm, I'm a former bodybuilder. I used to work out my whole life, basically. So I would see people go in the gym and spend two and three hours in the gym trying to heave all kind of massive weight and there's no result or change in their body. But I would go into the gym for 20, 35 minutes tops, in and out, doing concentrated effort work and being very meticulous in what I'm doing. And I had better results than the people that spent three hours in there. So it's not about being busy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's about being productive. Okay, the L, the L is for learning. We always have to position ourselves to be in a learning state. Expand your knowledge. Well, Dr. Harris, how do I expand my knowledge? I'm glad you asked. It's easy. Books. Look behind me. I got books everywhere. I have books right here. I'm, this is one of the three books I'm reading currently. Um, you have to always position yourself to be in a learning mode to receive new information. Because if we're still operating on old operating systems, the best our computer can operate on is the past systems that we were uh, accustomed to. So you can learn through books, you can learn through uh, podcasts, you can learn through audio, you can learn by conferences. So listen, one of the key things about Kennedy and Caden, we would always play audiobooks in the vehicles while we're driving before they could read and they would hear it and they can understand, they can ask questions even though they couldn't read. So working on the subconscious like that in a child is what you see today in the results that both Kennedy and Kanan have as it relates to being successful entrepreneurs and public speakers. So you wanna position yourself where you're always learning. So you can turn your vehicle into a learning center. Think about the hours that you travel to and from work. If, let's say you got an hour going, an hour coming back. That's two hours of education that you're receiving five days a week. 50 years, uh, 50 weeks out of the year, providing that you're taking two week vacation. So think about how further along you would be in your learning process. How much could you learn? If you just did that and study cooking, how much of a better cook could you be? If you study plumbing, how much better skill set could you have in plumbing? So the same thing in any industry or any uh, area that you want to expand in, just read up on it and you become a master. So you can get a university education just in your car in a year's time, in two years time, by just applying yourself to a specific um, area of learning. Okay, the E. The E is for exercise. Can't stress that enough. Listen, every morning I get up, I say my prayers, uh, I meditate, and then I do 100 push-ups on the side of the bed. That gets the blood flowing. So a lot of times you hear people uh, say that they, they don't have energy. It's because your, your, your physical vehicle is like your car vehicle. Your body vehicle is like a car vehicle. So if you never got your car serviced, you never changed the oil, you never uh, replaced parts here and there as necessary, that car is eventually gonna lock up on you and break down. Same thing with our body. You can only operate at your highest level optimal conditioning. So if your body is mediocre, your performance is going to be the same. So we have to position ourselves to make sure that we're exercising. When you exercise, it clears, it gives you clarity of thought. It allows you to be able to use less time to come up with better answers than to take all day trying to figure it out because you have a cloudy mind because of the lack of exercise. So you always position yourself to exercise. Um, daily or at least every other day just to keep your body conditioned because there's so many health benefits to working out than to not work out. The R in be alert is relaxing. Again, so many times people are so busy, 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 busy. And you're so uptight. You wound up so tight. You have to unwind. Listen, my family, we don't take vacations. We just live our lives in different parts of the world. I had a mentor many times that said, you want to build a life that you don't have to vacate from. He said to make your house your personal result, resort. We do that. I like palm trees. I like beaches. I like oceans. So I brought the resort minus the ocean to my house. I have palm trees all over our property. 
I can go out anywhere and relax. I can go out to our outdoor theater, our outdoor ca uh, cafe. Um, I can just relax. And relaxing gives your mind time to really think and grow. So a lot of times you have to slow down to speed up. Most people think you always have to be busy, always in the trenches, always doing something. But sometimes you have to just stop relax and then let processes come to your mind and you'll be amazed to see how more productive you'll be once you slow down so again it's like in the morning so many people are so wound up so tight and i see, see and hear people always talking about oh, i gotta have my coffee uh, i gotta get my cup of coffee i can't start my day i can't function without coffee listen dude get up and do 100 push-ups in the morning that can be your cup of coffee that will get your brain stimulated that'll get your physical being uh moving and your system's going and give you clarity of thought. So you don't have to live a life just drinking coffee. You really don't. Try it. Three weeks. Do 100 push-ups every morning when you hit, get out of bed. If you need to start with 50 push-ups, start with 50. If you need to do 10, start with 10. But you'll see a difference in your performance level once you get your body um, in its adrenal state and getting the endorphins moving without having to necessarily drink uh, coffee or take other stimulants uh, to get you going. So that's gonna be the R for relaxing. The T is thinking. This is one of the most critical ones, is to think. I actually schedule time on my calendar just to think. Undisturbed, in my office, in a place of solace, uh, even in the gym sometimes where I just focus on thinking. That's all I do. Just think. Well, Sean, how do I do that? What, what am I thinking about? Just whatever. Think about ways that you can move the needle forward. But you have to schedule this time. So you can't just say, uh, I'll sit down and I'll think about this later. No, have focused time. If it's going outside, if it's taking a walk by yourself, uh, if it's taking a hike in the mountains, whatever it is that you do to find your peace. Find that peace. And just think. Because... You want to take re uh, reflective time to think, to think about the day in advance, to think about the next week, to think about the next month, the next year. You have to be able to forecast your visions. It's kind of like a weatherman. They call the weather person the forecaster. You got to be able to kind of see your Saturday coming up. You got to be able to see next July coming up. You got to be able to see five years down the road. And this way you are actually forming a mental blueprint. And that goes back to the B when we first started the B alert uh, acronym. So you want to position yourself where you can have clarity of thought and then you can start having your thoughts to manifest in its highest and best use. So that's the acronym I just want to share with you guys as we close down 2023 going into 2024. Um, my talk I did yesterday was talking about let's not go into 2024 with confusion because again, a confused mind does nothing. So position yourself to start moving into 2024 with vigor, with passion, and with purpose. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Sean J. Harris. Make impact, make money while you're doing it.